Prince Harry claimed during an interview to promote his book that there was a campaign by the royal family to undermine him. Prince Harry was slammed after his latest TV interview by commentators, who claimed he was putting salt in the company's wounds. The Duke of Sussex appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert in the US to promote his new ghostwriting book Spare, which was released in the UK yesterday. Of the royal family to undermine the book, Prince Harry replied, of course. Prince Harry went on to describe the perceived campaign against him as principally by the British press. Harry replied, again, of course. That's the other side of the story, right? After 38 years they have told their story and this is the other side of the story. The Duke continued, and there's a lot of things here that might make people uncomfortable and scared. During the conversation, Prince Harry also opened up about how he's been obsessed with finding stories that his wife Meghan, Prince Harry, also drank tequila with the show's host, and took part in a sketch with simulated royal fanfare with American actor Tom Hanks. Which he wore during the Late Show interview, was stolen during a physical altercation with his brother, Prince William. In its official description, the book is described as a landmark publication, and full of insight, revelation, self-examination and hard-won wisdom about the undying power of love over pain. Buckingham Palace has yet to officially comment on the claims in the Duke's new book. However, some royal sources have disputed some of the Prince's claims, describing the situation as terribly unfair. An unnamed source said. The problem is that nobody else acknowledges much of it, especially when it comes to events surrounding his and Meghan's departure from the royal family, according to the Daily Mail. The reason he and Meghan didn't leave is because they were forced to leave, as they claim, or because they fled dramatically for their lives. It was simply because the royal family and the institution didn't do everything they wanted, the source continued. To describe his final interview as just another salvo in their blaming campaign, the extended interview, available online, lasted almost 40 minutes. Another source reportedly said. In addition to how much of what he claims is true, this constant destruction of his family only adds salt to his wounds. It's really terribly unfair. It centers on the story of a very sad family split, including Harry's.